host Megan Rolfe, and I'm a state beef extension specialist at Oklahoma State University. And I'm Brian Frecking, I'm the Southeast District Livestock Specialist. And today we're going to show you a couple different methods for collecting DNA samples in beef cattle. First method is basically taking a hair sample, and uh, the other method is, is collecting blood from that animal, either from tail bleeding or, in this case today, we're going to demonstrate it and getting it out of the ear. So. So this is a, one example of a standard blood collection card, and it's called an FTA card. And that's because of the special paper that's inside um, the card that helps capture the DNA for sending to the lab. So you'll notice the paper here is slightly different colored than the paper surrounding, and that's where you want to deposit the blood sample. And again, you want to make sure that you have the appropriate ID for the animal written in the blanks below. So when you're going to collect from the ear, the first thing you want to do is grasp the ear by the outside edge and either locate uh, a vein inside the ear or you, can, or you can poke the needle through the outside of the ear and try and draw a few droplets of blood. From there you take your collector card and dab the card on the ear until you fill the squares with your blood sample. So the important thing to do here is continue until you have the entire square full of blood, but you don't want to oversaturate the card to the point that it soaks through the paper on the back. Once you've got your sample collected, let it dry, open on the table, and then fold it up when you send it in to the company. Next method to uh, collect a DNA sample is taking some uh, a hair sample from, from the tail. And in this case, you can say that this animal is, it's got some dirt around it. So what we're trying to do is collect a clean sample uh, to put on this card. We've got the identification of that animal's ear on this card. It also has a uh, barcode number. And so when we send these an an samples off, we we'll know we make sure we we've got the correct animal with the barcodes. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to collect the, uh, the hair sample and to place on this card. We're going to grab, grab the tail. We're going to try and find as clean a spot as we can on this animal and try and get a pencil uh, width uh, of hair to grab. And we're ready. We're going to go basically towards the, the, the backbone of this animal and just pull straight up. And we want to make sure we get these bulbs on the end. And that way we can put this in the card. So I've got a pretty good sample here. These cards come apart with a little sticky, sticky end on them. We want to put the bulbs in the, in the back portion where they'll stay. So we've got our sample with the bulbs with some hair hanging out. And we'll go ahead and trim this card before it's sent off to the to actual company to be a value for any DNA testing that we want done. Okay, so I trim the, trim this uh, sample right here by just cutting off the excess hair, and we've made sure we've got the bulbs in the uh, uh, plastic area that they can take that sample from. Okay, the the other option to collect blood from the tail and put it on the FTA cards is to uh, use a syringe. Uh, there's also blood tubes that have a vacutainer uh, that you can actually put the blood in a in an actual tube and send that off. But uh, in this demonstration, we're going to pull the blood and then put that blood on the FTA card. So I'm going to demonstrate how to pull the blood from, from the tail of this animal. You lift up the tail head, so it's close to a 45. Sometimes you've got to uh, move the needle just a little bit and it pulls about two to three cc's of, of blood. And in this case, I was able to do that fairly easily. And now we're going to transfer this onto an FDA card. So some of the primary reasons that we might want to collect a DNA sample include testing for genetic abnormalities, testing for simply inherited traits like horn pulled, the horn pulled test or coat color, black versus red, and also some of the newer tests for quantitative production related traits, such as um, marbling carcass, uh, other carcass traits, or growth traits, for example. So we hope this uh, little tape helps you in being able to, to tackle the, the task of actually collecting the samples, and you're working with uh, companies to send those off. It's usually a, a small fee to get that information, but it's very valuable to the producers and the buyers that may buy your cattle from. So, If you want your test, to, test results to be 
uh, recognized by your breed association, often you will have to order the collector cards directly from the breed association. So it's important to contact them first uh, if you want to get the results recognized by the association. Otherwise, you can go through your testing, uh, your representative at the testing company.